many did you say there were? Just eight? Yeah, I'll have to look, because I'm, I'm one, actually three, doing a few every now and then, so... One, three, eight, right? No, they're on different pages. So, <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, so, the section we're in. Um, we're in section 3738. So these are, um, these are mixed numbers and improper fractions, but we're just doing basic operations with them. So, mixed numbers. All right, now the big thing is today, we're going to be doing story problems, and I want to just do two examples of the story problems, because these are exactly what your homework's going to look like, so story problems. So I'll do kind of one of each. I'm actually going to leave them on the board as we do them today, so then you get time to actually kind of work and kind of look up. Uh, for the story problems themselves, one of which, the, one of the examples I'm going to do today, because again, we're just going to do a bunch of examples. I should spell example right. Where's my eraser at? X, for example. Okay, so one of the examples we're going to do is going to be based on the product, so how you can just multiply things together. Well, what I really want you to focus on today is like when you read the story problem, do you know what it's asking for? Like, do you know how to how to interpret that question? And then the other example we're going to do is going to do a quotient, so that's division. That's the ones where you have to flip. You guys know what you're doing on those. Okay, so this is stuff you know how to do, but can you read the problem and know what it's asking? That's going to be the, the challenging part today. All right, so here we go. So, Subway currently serves... Currently serves... The footlong sub. Footlong sub sandwich. Can I go to the bathroom? Yes. Okay. The basketball team ordered 15 of them. Sheesh. 15 subs. How many... How many... How many feet of sandwich feet of sandwich did they order? Uh, a lot. A lot, I agree. Did they order? Now, let's discuss this. Now, do you notice I put the foot long in your quotes? Yep. Okay, here's the reason why. The foot long sub is not actually a foot long. Okay? That's, that's kind of the, the funny part. The foot long sandwich is actually, I'm going to put this in little quotes, it's actually 11 and a half inches. 11 and a half inches. It's not quite a foot. It's really close. Some people always argue about that. It's close enough to me. Okay? So the idea is that if they ordered 15 of them, I want to know how many total feet of sandwich did they get. So, how many sandwiches did I order? Uh, 15. 15. So we're going to take 15, and we're going to take it times 11 and a half inches. Okay? And this will tell me roughly how many um, inches are going to have, and if we want to calculate it back to feet, because that's what kind of the question is asking for, we can convert that back. Okay? And we can get a, kind of a rough guesstimate. Okay, so this is what you're doing. Notice, it didn't ask me to break them up. It didn't say that you had like um, like one large sandwich you break down amongst 15 players. They're ordering 15 subs, so you take 15 times how long each one is. That's, that's kind of the idea. That's how I read this question. Okay, so if we're going to multiply, what do we have to do first? Take 11 times 2. Okay, good. And you get? That is 22. 22, you add the top. Uh, 23 then. 23 over 2, good. So that, that's your improper fraction. How do I make 15 an improper? Put one on one. Put one on one. Okay, good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to break these up, see if they can cancel anything out. I don't think they, they do, but let's, let's actually go through the math because that's just good practice. What number is multiplied to be 15? 1 and 15, 4. Actually, 5 and 3. 5 and 3, okay. 5 and 3, I'll go with that one. What about the number 1? Uh, 1 and 1. 1 and 1, okay. And then now the number 23. Oh uh, boy. Just do the common sense one. Uh, 1 and 23. Yeah, it's actually prime, there's no other options. And the number 2? 1 and 2. 1 and 2, okay. Good, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look diagonally, see if anything cancels. Um, and this we'll way, no. This way, yes. This way, yeah. Yep. So we have ones. Nothing that way. Up and down, no. Up and down, no. So we're going to go straight across. 
this is where I can do your calculator. So did you get one already? Did you give me one? Or did you do it? Oh, we did. Perfect. All right. Let's multiply that out. I need to know what the top number is going to be. Do we get to use our calculators yeah. to help us? Yep. Or something? Yep. So how do we get on the top? It's a big number, like you said. It's going to be huge. A lot of sandwiches. 345. 345? Okay. And the bottom number? Over 2. Over 2. Okay. So now we're here, right? And I want to convert this back to an, um, to an improper fraction. So an improper. Um, so that's what we're going to be converting back into. So, so, so we're going to, yeah, so we're going to put the 345 in the house, and 2 goes on the outside. How many times can 2 go into 3? Without going into 3. Once. Once, right? And so the closest I could get to it was 2. Subtract so straight down, 3 minus 2 is 1. Bring down the next number. How, many, how, many, how close can I get to 14 now? Uh, you can only get to 12. Oh, okay. wait, no, you can go. You 7. Go 7 times perfectly, you go to 14, so I subtract and get 0. Bring down the next number, so now we're going to 5. How close can 2 go to 5? Uh, 4. 4, which is what, 2 on the top of the house? Because 2 times 2 is 4. And I subtract and I get a remainder of 1. So what is my final answer as an in, uh, as a mixed number? So what's the big one? 172. Good. 172. And what's the fraction over of the one, one, one over one over two. Yeah. The remainder always goes on the top, and then the what you're dividing by goes on the bottom. Now what that number represents, what it represents for us is yeah, the inches of the mark. Dane Whipple, Connor Burke, and Nick okay. joined the Warburg College Revacure to meet with you. Please go to the office. Okay. So, 172 inches worth of sandwich, because again, we talked about the actual sub itself is about 11 and a half inches, not quite a foot long so. Um, but here's the idea. This is 36 inches. That's 36. That's not 172. So, this is 36. 72, and then you'd add another 36 to that, 108 or something like that, and you just keep going, and you keep adding 36 and about two more times. So I would be out to about here, you know, in the middle of the room, with sub sandwiches, 15 lined up. Not bad. Now, if you want to convert that to feet, you just take that number and divide by 12. Now, if you want to divide it by 12, you because there's 12 inches or there's 12 inches in a book, you could do that. I'm not really worried about it. Okay, if you want to go to that route, I'm not going to have you do conversions or anything like that. Okay, questions on the actual sandwich itself? Nope. 14.375. Okay, so 14 feet ish. So yeah, it's about the middle of the room for us. It was about 30 something. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, the next one I'm going to do, we're going to do a, a quotient problem. That was a multiplication problem. Now, uh, Eric, what you missed when you left, uh, how I know this is a multiplication problem? They didn't ask me to take a sandwich and break it up amongst like 15 players. We were ordering 15 subs and we were figuring out how long it was going to be. So okay. that's when you multiply. If you want to break it up into like take one sandwich and break it up to multiple people, that's a division problem. Okay? All right, let's up the camera. We'll start up. We'll do another one here. Okay. So uh, on a division problem here, what I want to do an example of is let's say because the teachers had a, a an actual, uh, you know, uh, Christmas breakfast kind of, or Christmas lunch, I should say, and it was more of a potluck style. So what yeah. it was is that the teachers, teachers, brought food for the for the for the entire staff, for the entire staff. In one of the crock pots, there was fifteen and three fifths pounds of cheesy potatoes. Cheese. Yeah. It was big. I'm trying to feed the entire staff. So. How much could each teacher receive? Teacher 
receive if there are 20 teachers. Now, agreed, 15 pounds of cheese potatoes is a lot, right? Mm -hmm. But you have 20 staff members. So they're not receiving one pound of potato each. Oh. You, can, you can get a potato. One potato could be a pound. So you're, you're getting a little bit less than a potato. So it makes sense. Okay. So we're in the ballpark of a realist, right? Um, but the idea is that I want to know exactly how much each person will receive. So do you agree that we have a community pot of potato and we're dividing it amongst the staff members? Okay, so how much potato do we have? Uh, 15 over... 15 and 3 fifths pounds, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to divide it amongst 20 staff members. This will, be, this will give me the, the actual amount of potatoes per staff. Because the word per means division. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do we do this problem? What's the first step that you guys always do when we do division? I like that. So we're making them improper. What about the other one? Times it. Multiply at the bottom. And then add the top. Add the top. So can you do that on a calculator? I need to know what 15 times 5 is. I think it's 75, but I need to know for sure. 15 times 5. 75. 75, and then we have to add the top, which would be 78. And whatever goes on the bottom? Uh, 5. 5. Okay. Okay, we're good with the 7. We change it to improper. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need to change this to multiplication and flip the second one. Okay, so we're going to change this to multiplication. We're going to flip the second fraction over. That's how you do division. So anytime you're doing like a community pot and we're dividing, you have to change the multiplication. So now we're here. Now it can start to simplify. Um, so the 78 is kind of a hard number. So we're going to have to figure out how to break that up. Actually, I already know. Okay, what, what makes... The closest I can get is 77. 77. Uh, but what were the two numbers we multiplied earlier to make 78? Well, I know a 2 goes in there, because it ends up with 8, right? So what is 78 divided by 2? Can somebody tell me that? 78 divided by 2. I know it ends with a... So we were really close to what we did earlier. 39? 39. 39, 2. Right. That works. Let's go 2 and 39. Okay. Uh, what about the number 5? What goes into the number one? One and one. One and one. And what about 20? Five and four. Five and four, or two and ten, or... Yeah. Yeah, so let's go Let's go to the two and ten. Right? If you want to go four and five, that's fine. But right now, the reason why I did that, because what do you know is diagonal? Oh, one's gone. Yeah, so the ones are gone. Two's are gone. And two's are gone. That's why I did the two and ten, so the four and five problem. Um, but now we can go straight across, so what do we get? Thirty-nine over fifty. Over fifty, and we don't need to convert because it's not the bottom numbers bigger than exactly. The top. Can um, you that? If if you could, you would try. Um, Thirty-nine only has a three and a thirteen in it. Fifty has five and ten, so they don't have any numbers in common. So I mean, you could try, um, but yeah, it, we wouldn't have to convert. And again, what this is. Uh, this is the number of pounds each person will receive. Yeah. So it's not quite, it's not quite, um, not quite a full pound. It's a little bit over half a pound of potato. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, but I'm gonna leave that on the board. Again, you wouldn't have to convert because it didn't turn out to be improper. Okay. Homework today. Homework today. I'm gonna put this on the board. Just so you can, just so you can see this. I'm gonna put it over here. Make sure the camera, so you can see this. Okay, so page 71, 1 through 4, exercise C, and then you're going to go to page 74 and do numbers 1 through 4, exercise B. And what you're looking at here are the story problems. 
the good news is why I picked two different pages is so you know exactly which type you're doing. If the first ones are multiplying, the second ones are dividing. Now, I may or may not have done a already problem for you if you've been taking notes. So, you might have a freebie somewhere. Okay. Okay. Good? Yep. All right, there you go. First time is yours. You can work on that today. Um, you can use your calculators. You can use I paper. flipped that back to mixed. You flipped it back to mixed? You can't. Yeah. It wasn't improper. What? The 50's not on the top. Oh. Oh.